So guys, welcome back on SFDC Ninja and today I am back with another Apex Trigger scenario. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First, let's discuss the data model. So in today's scenario, we are going to work on account and contact object. From account, we are going to use description field. So this is the data model. Now let's discuss the scenario. So in today's scenario, whenever a contact record gets inserted, updated or deleted, then all related contact names along with their created date should be populated in the parent account description field. Also, if user update the parent of a contact record or let's say delete a contact record, then that contact information should get removed from the description. I hope you got this scenario. It's time to code. So let's go to VS Code and create a handler class. Let's name it trigger handler. Let's create our method. Now a trigger will be on contact object because our code will be fired whenever there is a change on contact object. So what we will do, we will pass list of contact as parameter in our method. And in this parameter, we will pass trigger.new from our trigger. So basically this list is equal to trigger.new. Now see, we need to update the parent account description field of contact. That's why we'll be needing parent account ID of contact whenever it gets inserted, updated, deleted or undeleted. So what we will do, we will create a set to store it. So let's create a set first. Let's say CG IDs. Copy its name, apply a null check on it and iterate over it. Now to get the account ID for update operation, we'll be needing a trigger.oldmap. For example, let's say a user updates a contact record, then there will be two versions of that contact record, old version and new version. In old version, old values will be present and in new version, there will be new values. So to get the old values, what we'll do, we will pass another parameter here. Let's old map. And in this parameter, we will pass trigger.oldmap from our trigger. So to get the account ID for update operation, we have passed this map. Copy its name. And here, let's apply a null check on it. And using this map, we will have the old version of contact record, which we will store in a variable. So let's create a variable. So this variable will hold the old version of contact. Now, now see, in update operation, there could be two scenarios. First scenario, when user changes the parent account of a contact record, then in that case, we need to store ID of both new parent and old parent. So for that, we have to apply check like this. Oldcon.accountID not equals to newcon.accountID. Copy our set name, paste it here and add account ID in it. So this is for the scenario in which user updates the parent account of contact record. Now second scenario when user update any field on contact record. For that let's apply else here. Copy this line and paste it here. Now this part of code is for update operation because here we have applied a null check on this map and in this map, we will pass value from our trigger only for update operation. And for insert, delete and undelete, we will keep it null. So to store parent account ID for other operations, we will apply another else here. Let's use else if. And here apply a check on account ID. Copy this line and paste it here. So in this set, we will have the account ID for every operation. Now we will apply a null check on this set like this. This is to ensure that our rest of the code will be executed only if this set contains a value. And this set contains a value whenever some operation will happen on contact record. Now guys see, we need to update accounts description by all related contacts information. So. First, let's iterate over the related contacts of account whose ID is present in this set, like this. 
for contact cone select id name account id will be needing created date also form contact where account id is in this set now according to the scenario we need to show created date and name of contact so what we will do for each contact we will first store the created date and name of contact in a variable so let's create a variable let's say string contact info this is for contact name and this is for created date and there can be multiple contacts on an account so we will use this for new line so this variable is like a temporary container for storing details of each contact now since we need to show details of multiple contacts so for each contact this variable will store the detail and then we will add it in a list so let's create a list to store it let's say info list copy its name paste it here dot add contact info now we have the value by which we need to update field of account but see we need to update the description of the account on which contact is being updated created deleted or undeleted so what we will do we will create a map and in key we will store the account id and in value we will store this list so that if any contact is inserted updated deleted or undeleted on an account we can easily access the stored contact details by using the account id so first let's create a map let's modify this one contact info and let's store details in it else contact info dot put okay dot get and we will insert this variable in the list so this part will return the value of map which is a list and then in that list we will add the variable guys for the first contact when account id is not present in this map this condition will get true and for other contacts the code will enter in this else in which we are adding the variable in the list now let's update the description of the account so we have the account id in this set let's iterate over it let's apply a check that if this id is present in this map and if it is present then we will simply update the description copy the map name paste it here dot get basically here we are using string.join to concatenate the contact information so this condition will get true if there is a contact present on an account but there could be a situation when there is no contact present then in that case we need to show no related contacts in description of account so for that 
we will use else here so description no related contents now we will not perform dml inside for loop so let's create a list let's say list to update copy the list name paste it here dot add acc apply and i'll check on this list and finally update it save it and deploy it to org okay we are getting error oh here we need to use string save it and deploy it again now it is successfully deployed we have our handler class ready now let's create our trigger let's say cone trg it is obvious that our trigger will be on contact object and we need to update the parent account that's why we will use after event after delete and after undelete let's apply a check for update we will pass trigger dot new in first parameter and trigger dot old map in second so here this part will run only for after update operation similarly let's apply check for insert and then delete copy this line paste it here and we will pass null here similarly for delete but for delete operation we will pass trigger dot old and in second parameter we will keep it null save it and deploy it to work it is successfully deployed so we have our code ready it's time to see it in action so let's go to our org in our org we have this account let's open it let's add a new contact save and new let's add one more contact go to details so here as you can see that in description contact information for all three contacts is present now let's delete one of the contact let's delete it go to details again refresh it yes our trigger is working fine for delete operation now let's update the parent also okay we are getting error id not specified in update call let's go to vs code again and here let's apply checks similarly let's apply another check here save it and deploy it again okay let's refresh this go to details okay that contact information is still in the description I don't know why this why I'm getting this error. 
new list i created over it old map okay got it sorry it was my mistake here we have not stored the old version of contact record in this variable so now let's store it i don't know how can i forget oh, it, it was totally my mistake save it and now it will work fine let's insert a contact go to details and now let's change the parent now it should work fine finger crossed yeah now it is working fine let's go to data account go to details so here we have five contacts and it has five contact information in description which means our trigger is working fine so that's it for today guys and i'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios thank you and keep watching